This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and today's an update on the town car debacle with the insurance companies. So in a previous video, I showed the uh, town car on dash cam getting rear-ended by this clown in a taxi. Uh, the driver ended up taking off, but thankfully, I actually had clear enough uh, footage of this guy's plate, so the police ended up finding out who he was and got me this gentleman's insurance information. So at this point I decided to open up a claim and I pretty much figured it would be a slam dunk uh, case against this guy. So I went through the whole process. Uh, the insurance company had me install their app uh, and basically I did the work of the adjuster, which uh, really pissed me off actually because I'm not on the payroll for that insurance company. And they had me walking around the car, taking pictures and everything. Uh, so that, company ended up only offering me $620 to repair the car. Now, to correctly repair the damage that was done to the back of the town car, it's $970 to fix it through Reeve Moto because I don't want to tie up the car in a body shop. I just want to pull the bumper off, switch it, be done with it. I don't want to deal with blending paint and filler in the back and any of that because that is not making me whole again with the insurance because my car didn't have blended paint before that, didn't have filler in the back end. And it's absolutely ridiculous, um, you know, how these insurance companies operate. So I spoke with uh, the insurance company uh, for the party that hit me and uh, they pretty much told me to pound sand when I told them about that. And uh, the other interesting thing was too, I even very politely said to the rep, you know, what is the purpose of insurance? And it was an honest question. I wasn't being snarky or anything like that. This guy just exploded at me. So I very politely just interjected that insurance is the transference of risk. That risk the insurance companies take on is because somebody's paying a premium, you know, to be made whole again in the event of an accident. Uh, where this accident was no fault of mine, I should be made whole again. Uh, so it's absolutely ridiculous. So at this point, they weren't going to budge on the $620. So I decided to approach and go through my own insurance. So with everything that happened with the other insurance company, I decided to go through my own insurance company to open up a claim. Uh, and it, they got the ball rolling pretty quickly. And uh, also they actually had a real adjuster come out, take a look at it, and they estimated the damage at almost like $800. Um, so that that's okay because that's pretty close to where I was at. So I figured, okay, no problem. Uh, didn't hear from anybody else from the insurance company and then one day in the mail, I ended up with a check with like 400 and some change. Um, so obviously they took the deductible out of my payment. Now, mind you, I have sent them the video where this guy clearly rear-ended me. I did not back into him or anything like that. It is no fault of my own, but I'm being penalized with the deductible. It just doesn't make sense. I think insurance companies are absolute fucking rip-off. They fucking suck. Um, I hate dealing with them. They're an absolute nightmare. They try to get out of things and, and just not pay out on an actual claim, however they can. Uh, needless to say, I'm not happy with my existing in insurance company. I don't shop for insurance on price. I shop insurance on how well my claim is going to be, you know, treated in the event of that I have a loss, which, you know, things, I don't have a lot of things on my insurance, uh, but it just absolutely drives me nuts. 
So that's where I'm at with the town car. Uh, I don't know what to do about the difference. I don't know if I should go after the taxi company in small claims or if I should go after the driver in small claims to make up for the difference uh, in what the insurance company has paid me. I have no idea what to do. If anybody out there is actually watching this, I'd appreciate your comments down below uh, what you think the best way to handle this would be. Uh, in this particular situation, but uh, it's been extremely frustrating to me. I just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and uh, this is costing me hundreds of dollars uh, for no fault of my own. So obviously it's very frustrating. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And again, questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.